Hello viewers, welcome again to Bioinformatics Review. In our last tutorial, we discussed how to perform docking using Autodock Mina and today we will be learning how to analyze the docking results. We will be using the same protein that is human serum albumin and the ligand rose sodium octanoate and we need only two files, the PDB file of our protein and output PDBQT file of our ligand. So let's get started. Let's open the protein file first. The PDB file that is 2BXA, open it and then open your output file that is vena out so.pdbqt okay as you can see clearly that there is one ligand and a protein but it is not showing any interaction or polar bonds but uh, so we need to do this go to the action a tab in all click on that and go to preset ligand sites set it to cartoon Okay, as you can see, the appearance has been changed. So here is our ligand and these are three polar bonds which it is showing. This is the interaction with our amino acid residues and we need to check whether these residues are the binding residues or not. So to check it, you can select the atoms from here, this one and this one I guess it is the same let's click again oh. this one and this one and now in order to see what oh, the sequence of your protein click on S here down below this these are the two residues which I have selected right now this is the arginine 257 and serine 287. The, the, both of them are the binding residues for HSA. And let's move on to the second pose. Here it is showing an extra interaction. Let's see what residue is this. Okay, this is tyrosine 150 and I believe, I guess, these three are the binding residues for HSA. So it means your ligand has bound in the right binding pocket which uh, I, I defined in the last practice so here and in the second pose you can see that there are more number of interactions than mm, there was in the first pose so you can also select second pose and I believe there is not much uh, difference between these two poses let's see the binding affinities for them uh, where is my log file yeah here it's a bit slow here okay the binding affinity for first pose is minus 5.6 and for second one is minus 5.5 so it's not a uh, big difference RMSD value is also very low so if the second pose suits your needs you can also select the second one but in most of the cases first pose is selected because there is zero RMSD value and binding affinity is obviously low so but it also depends on the on your study what you are trying to study and there are basically three conditions number of interactions bond length and the conformation of your ligand in the protein in the binding site of your protein if you are trying to dock uh, another ligand for example i remove cmpf from hsa and then i bound sodium octanoate so i would like to show that whether the ligand is um, is actually mimicking the earlier ligand that is cmpf so you just need to look into the binding pocket into the you you can set your protein as a surface i can show you here but let's learn uh, about the measurement first and let's measure the bond length of these interactions and then we can move on to the surface so if you want to measure the bond length here click on wizard go to the measurement and click on the atoms this one and this one 
okay this is 3.1 the next one is this and this it is 3.2 next one is this and this it's 3.3 and next is this one and this one oh sorry sorry I did it wrong click on always click on the black screen otherwise it will be clicking other residues okay this is 3.6 okay and this one is 3.1 okay so these are short bond lengths and if you want to view this ligand into the binding pocket so you need to change your protein appearance click on s tab of the 2bxa which is your protein show me the surface now it will show you the surface okay let's zoom out a little and you can search for your ligand okay uh, the ligand is in is in that binding pocket if you want to make it clear you will have to remove some amino acid residues if you want to analyze the ligand conformation in the binding pocket oh i, I lost it again mm, i believe it was there Oh, okay let me see okay here is your is your ligand okay where is the ligand I have lost it since the protein is bulky so it's yeah here here so you will have to find you you can remove these residues because they are of no use but be careful because you can remove also the binding residues so always be careful while you are removing the atoms go to the selection tab click on action and remove atoms and it will remove them okay now it's clear let's remove these atom these uh, residues also where are these residues I think I believe these are this one yes let's remove them be careful remove atoms you can also remove this one too okay that is okay here again remove atoms okay now you can see your ligand is there right okay uh, yeah another thing is if you uh, don't want to remove these atoms you can change the some settings go to the settings surface and you can see here cavities and pockets only then it will show you the binding pockets like this one you, you can see here there is cartoon also okay I'm gonna hide the cartoon okay right okay this is now my binding pocket you can also set the radius of your surface it's seven angstrom and okay it's, it's okay okay I want just the curled bindings and um, pockets okay so here is my residue you can compare it with the CMPF or, or whatever your earlier ligand was and you can uh, superimpose them uh, there are many functions in PyMol you just need to explore them and uh, it will be very helpful for you if you analyze the results with the PyMol and there are many other softwares like Chimera and also but I think PyMol is very handy to that so this tutorial uh, was about just the uh, just to tell you how to analyze the output files uh, of your Vena, Autodoc Vena. 
If you have any suggestions, then please mail us at info at the rate bioinformatics review or mail us at money by the rate bioinformatics review. This is the URL of our website. If you want to read more articles related to bioinformatics, you can subscribe it and you can also subscribe to our channel. And this is the URL for our Facebook. If you want regular updates, you can like our Facebook page also. And if you have any suggestion, you want to see other tutorials, you can uh, anytime mail us at uh, the at the given email IDs. And in the next tutorial, we are we will try to show you how to install Autodoc Mina and Gromax, because in the earlier days, I have received many emails, many queries. Uh, then people are having difficulties in installing these two software so I will try to show you in our next tutorial and if you like this video please share it and thanks for watching